Boston waterfront is best known for the scenery, harbor cruises, and the famous residence of Central Wharf. The New England Aquarium is one of the largest and most beloved attractions in the city. Since it opened in 1969, the ever-changing exhibits give visitors an opportunity to connect and interact with the creatures that live beneath the waves. The largest of these exhibits is the Giant Ocean Tank, also known as the GOT. Good morning everybody, welcome to the top of our newly opened Giant Ocean Tank, complete with magnificent coral reef, 2,000 fish, sea turtles. The 40-year-old 200,000-gallon tank underwent a 10-month renovation project and was reopened to the public in the summer of 2013. So they decided they wanted to make it a more realistic uh, reef. So what they did was instead of having four to 600 fish, which is what they had before, and they also had some large sharks, now we have three smaller sharks and have closer to 2,000 fish. This is actually a coral reef as you would have seen it 100 years ago. All the different varieties of corals, the clouds of fish, 2,000 fish or so here. Renovations also improved viewer windows, ramps, and the presentation area. Informational presentations called tank talks take place at the top of the tank several times a day. These presentations are often led by aquarium volunteers like Larry Vifquin. My job here is called a guide and my job is to interface with the people, either individually or in groups, and, and help them more appreciate the animals that are here, talk about the animals, their uniqueness. Larry Vifquin of Marlboro regularly donates his time to teach visitors about marine animals and their environments. Okay, that's a good question. How come the fish uh, seem to be getting along? Well, there's, there's kind of two things going on here. There's the, uh, the issue of if they're hungry, they'll probably chase each other, right? But so the idea is that everybody here is well fed. Divers are in the tank four times a day and they feed specific fish at each time. Before I retired, I was in the sales and marketing and things of that sort. I love to interact with people. That's fun. And it's fun to have guests come in here and help them appreciate the animals that are here. It's a great place to be. The neat thing about it is you learn so much from the staff that is here. The staff, the aquarists, know so much about these animals. They're so knowledgeable. Every day you come in, you learn something new. It's a great environment. It's a wonderful environment. Let me introduce the uh, other members of the staff. Start here. Uh, going in the water over there, Jen is just about to go in the water. They're going to be doing some underwater uh, feeding of the fish. Aaron will go following, follow her into the water. As an intern, I end up doing a lot of diving. I'll be in the tank anywhere between three and five times a day. Intern Aaron Nathan assists with the day-to-day -day operations of caring for the animals in the giant ocean tank. His day typically begins with preparing each of the animals' favorite foods. Currently, I'm working on food prep. That's kind of why I'm covered in fish. Um, we cut up fish and cut up food. What we create for them is essentially a gourmet meal throughout the day. It's, it's just a lot of different stuff. So if one day they're feeling krill, they can go pick some of that out. If one day they're feeling capelin, there's enough of that. You see one of the divers took a head of lettuce down there. Some of the animals like to nibble on lettuce. The one that likes it the most is, um, is our sea turtle, Myrtle. Favorite foods differ from animal to animal, just like their personalities do. All the animals are special. Each one is unique. Each one has its own story. We target feed a lot of our fish, and we have names for a lot of the fish we target feed. So we have our four count O's rays. There's Baby, Moon Pie, Mystic, and Stubby. They are extraordinarily friendly. When you go down there with a the shrimp bucket or a scatter or really go in at all, and they will come right up to you. They'll kind of swim up your body. They'll give you a little hug. We also have our three turtles. Myrtle, who's been here since the aquarium opened. She's about 85. She's 530 pounds, She's, and she is the diva of the tank. Some of these animals, I think, have kind of a sense of humor. Myrtle was sleeping on the coral down there one day, and one of the other sea turtles, a loggerhead, snuck up behind her and nipped her on the tail. And old Myrtle, who's the queen of the tank, jumped up and chased that loggerhead around, around the, uh, the tank a couple of times. It was just fun. It's just funny. It's fun to watch the animals and the things they do. They seem to have a sense of humor sometimes. Myrtle's also very friendly. I mean, one day I was having a terrible day and I got in and it was like she knew. And, and she came right up to me. She, she comes up to us a lot, but she came right up to me, circled around, came right back to me. And, and we can, we scratch her spinal column because she can feel that. And 
she'll kind of like go like this. It's, it's pretty cute, actually. Myrtle and her co-inhabitors of the giant ocean tank may be the stars of the New England Aquarium, but there are many other crowd favorites, like the penguin colonies, harbor seals, sea lions, and the touch tanks. We have touch tanks downstairs where you can actually touch some of the Kano's rays and some other rays and some sharks as well. Going downstairs and being able to touch them, that's a cool interactive feature for a lot of the younger kids that are here, and even the adults find it really interesting. So we constantly keep adding new exhibits and new ways to show people the animals and their environment. So it's constantly renewed. When you visit the New England Aquarium, you can explore and experience the seven seas to the ocean floor while staying dry and comfortable above sea level.